So how can changing our brain actually change the world? Excuse me, you dropped this. Thank you. You're welcome, my pleasure. Have a good day. I think a lot about these moments. Small acts of kindness on a daily basis with strangers. You know, those moments when you smile, when you give something back somebody lost. And as I reflect upon these moments, as a neuroscientist, I'm called to see how the brain changes when we have these moments, these small exchanges with people around us. You see, neuroscience over the last 20 years has shown us that human activities can actually change the brain in powerful ways, activating parts of the brain, deactivating parts of the brain, expanding or detracting from our human potential. Take the small exchange you've seen with the scarf. I witnessed someone losing something. So I was able to put myself in his shoes and feel loss, activating special neurons in my brain called mirror neurons. I then decided to return the scarf, which activated a whole set of neurons that are responsible for giving and altruism. These mirror neurons that I'm speaking of were discovered by two neurophysiologists in Italy who was able to determine that we can actually experience the emotions and actions of others. So when you all witness me experiencing and sharing empathy with this stranger, at least 10% of your own mirror neurons lit up, expanding your empathy in your brain. Small moments matter. How did all this happen? It was only about five seconds, right? Well, when you look in terms of the brain, the brain is on a whole different timeline, okay? You have 100 billion brain cells. Each brain cell is able to talk to and communicate to one to 10,000 other brain cells. That means you have trillions and trillions of connections in your brain. You have enough wiring in your brain to stretch from where you're sitting to stretch all the way to the sun. That's about 90 million miles. And these brain cells are communicating at 200 miles per hour. So that's equivalent to the amount of time that it takes you to decide to snap your finger. So things are happening fast in the brain. Moments matter. So never think that a moment in time is in insignificant to make ripples in the universe. Had I not returned that scarf, he could have went on to have a bad day. His cortisol levels, stress levels, adrenaline could have shaped the way of his thoughts and how he engaged with other people. But because I returned something that he lost, because he showed gratitude by saying thank you, changed the way his brain worked. It activated a cascade of positive circuitries, releasing endorphins. And those chemicals like oxytocin that help to build trust in strangers, enhancing his social engagement, fueling positive thinking and thoughts. Don't we want to send people off in the world like that? And that happened in a moment. So we have the power to engage other people's brains, to activate other people's brains in a moment. But what if we had days, weeks, months, years to change our brains to make a bigger impact in the world? Let's reflect on a few people who have share their compassionate brain with the rest of the world to make a significant impact, shall we? Malala Yousafzai, a young Pakistani girl who became an advocate for young girls who have been oppressed and not been able to receive an education. It's a dangerous way to advocate 
and she almost lost her life. But in doing so, she's inspired millions of girls around the world who are still oppressed and prevented from getting an education. And she also was the youngest girl to receive a Nobel Peace Prize. How about Emma Gonzalez? She was a victim of school violence. And she channeled her compassionate brain to the victims who suffered school violence. She has mobilized millions of youth around the globe to advocate for gun control, sensible gun control, and to believe in the power of their vote and the importance of voting so we can put in laws that will save lives. How about Greta Thunberg? She channeled her compassionate brain to the planet. And although she started off with, as a protester of one, within a year, she mobilized millions of people all over the globe to march for climate change. And how about Elon Musk? He has channeled his compassion to the future of humanity. Tesla, SpaceX, Neuralink. His vision is to make sure we actually don't go extinct, right? His goal is to reduce global warming through producing sustainable energy and consumption, colonizing other planets. It's important to extend compassion to the world, to people, to the planet, but we also must extend compassion to ourselves. Brene Brown said, it takes courage to say yes, to play and rest in a society where exhaustion is seen as a status symbol. I felt she was talking to me at one point in my, t my life. <clears throat> I was an exhausted graduate student. I worked 60 hours a week. 10 to 12 hour days telling people what was wrong with their brains, people with dementia and brain injuries. I am a mother, I am a wife, and I was giving all my time and attention and energy to everything else and barely anything for me. And it caught up with me. My brain burnt out. I burnt out, I was exhausted. And I literally crashed into a pole in an empty parking lot with my little ones in the car. Now, we were all OK that day. But there was a voice that was coming to me in the moment I was becoming conscious. And it was saying, Shantae, you have got to take better care of yourself, your brain, body, and mind. So from that day, I started making the daily shifts, the daily decisions that would ensure that my brain, body, and spirit showed up in a more powerful way. So now my kids, my family, my community, my clients are able to get the best of me instead of the rest of me. They're able to get the more powerful me instead of the burnt out me. And now I train people all over the world to think like a neuroscientist. No, I, seriously, I, I train people all over the world to use their brains better so that they can operate at the highest level of themselves and help others to do the same, make ripples in the universe. Now, do I think I'm going to change the world overnight? No. But I am 100% sure that I am sparking the brains in this room who will change the world. And it only takes moments. And you don't have to have experienced trauma and violence or win the Nobel Prize to make a change in the world. It's not necessary. But you have to know a little bit more about your brain. What I love about sharing the experiences of all, that, all the people that I talked about today is that they're across the age range, okay? Even consider Oprah. 
Oprah broke the mold of TV hosting, right? Daytime TV hosting. At a time when people told her to be less compassionate, she became more compassionate. She actually went out in the audience and stuck out that microphone, handed it to the audience member and let them tell their story. She cried with them, she hugged them, she li listened empathetically, activating both of their mirror neurons. She's known for her empathy. And then there's Jane Goodall. She spent 60 years researching, studying, and living amongst chimpanzees to make sure they didn't go extinct. So she extended her compassion to animals and to the planet that housed them. So we're talking about Gen Z, we're talking about Gen Y or millennials, we're talking about Gen Xers, we're talking about baby boomers. It doesn't matter your age. And you don't need all the time in the world. You only need moments because the brain is capable of changing in moments. So I'm gonna challenge you in these moments to do those kind things because sometimes we only have brief moments. What if it's in these moments that are the true dwelling place of which humanity will evolve to our highest selves? These moments, this time and space that will allow our brains to truly develop empathy and compassion for others. How many more moments can we fit in our day? Picking up a piece of trash, holding the door open for someone, saying thank you, sitting with someone who's alone at lunchtime, standing up to a bully. How many more moments can we fit in the day to make ripples in the universe? It's not gonna be one event. It's not going to be one act of kindness. It's gonna be billions of acts of kindness. Billions of moments that's going to change the world. Trillions of molecular changes going on in our brains and hearts are gonna change the world. And you can do it. You can change the world in a moment. And you can do it by understanding the most powerful technology on the planet, your brain. Thank you.